Yo, yo, it's your boy, Mr. Locario. So listen, in this video, I want to tell you that you should never uh, take what someone says personally. OK, so it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. You can't take it personally. So a lot of times, you know, people might say certain things to you. Let's say, for example, or even talk about you, you know, in a negative way and you get upset, you're offended, you're taking it personally. Right. And what I mean is you don't need to take it personally because what they're saying isn't about you. It's about them. It's about their perspective or perception of you. Right. Even on the flip side, if a person says something positive about you, you know, singing your praises and all that still don't take that personally because it's not even about you. Right. Because it's their own perspective and their own perception of you. Right. So a lot of times we get upset when someone says something negative about us and we're off offended and we start second guessing ourselves or feeling a certain type of way. Right. Because they said some negative shit about us or the flip side, we hear something that's praising us and we, you know, let it get to our ego. We start believing that uh, what this person is saying about us is true or we take that in and, and, and use that to make us feel good and all this other stuff. But you can't take it personally because people are speaking from their perspective, their thoughts, uh, their beliefs, all these other things. Right. And so what happens is that a lot of times what goes down is, is that you're taking it personally because you think that that person actually like knows you. You understand? But what happens is, is that they only know you through their perception, through their perspective and through their beliefs. Right. So let's say somebody, for example, who is extremely religious. Right. Let's say somebody who's like a Christian or whatever is judging you, but they're judging you based on their Christian beliefs. They're judging you based off of Christian values. Right. So you might do something and they're going to say something about what you're doing or talk about you. And they'd be like, oh, this person's a sinner. And, you know, you're being a sinner because you did this and did that. But it's like they're talking about your actions and what you do based on their own beliefs. Right. So what they're saying isn't necessarily a true thing. It's just from their perspective. You understand? Or somebody might say something, you know, nice and positive about you. So let's say somebody says, oh, my God, you're so beautiful. You're so sexy. You're so hot and all this other stuff. Right. But the reason why they think that is because the way you look reminds them of, you know, their high school crush. You understand? Or, you know, the type of uh, people they've been around when they were younger that has sort of in their subconscious, you know, made them, you know, feel that this type of body type look is a beautiful thing and then you just happen to basically remind them of that look or that you know that type of uh person right so what happens is is that you don't need to take anything anyone says personally because remember it's always it's coming from their own perspective their own perception their own beliefs so a lot of times you get upset you get frustrated you get stressed out anxious annoyed or whatever it is like that because somebody is saying something about you and you don't like what they're saying but understand what they're saying is coming from their own beliefs and perceptions see i have like family and friends even women that i've dealt with or whatever who might say something about me right and and i'm like what are they talking about but i have to remind myself that they don't think like me they don't see the world like me, right? And so what they're talking about, they're not really talking about me. They're talking about how they view me. So see, think about it like this. When, whenever a person's talking about you, talking shit about you, or even talking something that you would consider positive, you know, take what they say and add that, you know, like, so say, for example, a person says, oh, you know, I think that, you know, you uh, like only working, you know, uh, part time is bad because you need to have a full time job to make more money or whatever it is like that. Right. If they say that, just add, you know, in your own mind that they said, 
in my view or from my perspective, I think that you doing this and doing that is not a good thing. And on the flip side, if they say something positive, right? They're like, oh, you know, you're so smart. And in my view and from my perspective, I think you're smart. So think of them saying that. Think of them adding that to their to their uh, conversation or sentence about you. <laughs> you understand? Because it's not really an accurate description of you, even though you may think it is. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because what happens is, is that a person may say you were like this or you were like that. But then you may not see yourself like how they're describing. So are you like that or are you like how you see yourself? Right. Or let's say somebody says you're like this, or you're like that. And then you agree with what they're saying. Right. But all that really happened is, is that y'all have a similar perspective on you. But either way, it's just their perspective. And your perspective is your perspective. It's your perception. It's their perception, right? So what happens is, is that there's not this thing where because a person is saying this about you, that what they're saying about you is real or it's the truth. It may be the truth to them, but it doesn't mean that it's the truth. You understand? It's their perspective. Right. See, it's one thing if somebody describes what you're doing, like if I pick up a cup, a person can say, Lucario just picked up a cup. Cool. Right. But if the person says, I think Lucario is wrong for picking up the cup. Right. That doesn't mean that it's true that I'm wrong for picking up the cup. It's just that their perspective or their belief is that I'm wrong for picking up that cup. You see what I'm saying? But that's coming from them. They're just talking about themselves. They're talking about how they view the world. So why would you care or why would you get upset about how someone views the world, how someone else views the world, right? Because you're part of the world. So you're getting upset about how they view part of the world, which is you. And then on top of that, on the flip side, you're patting yourself on the back because of, you know, if they say something positive of how they view you. But whether it's positive or negative or you see it as positive or negative doesn't really matter because it's not about you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It's not about you ever. It's always their perspective, their perception, their belief.